Hi, it's Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. Uh, we've been starting off all of the videos with a question of the day so that we can all get to know each other better because this is your channel as much as it is mine. I love that we have become fast friends and have lots in common and can talk yarny things with each other and, you know, all that good and fun stuff. So um, thank you for everyone who's been participating in my question of the day. They've been really fun. I've really enjoyed everything that I've heard so far. So today's question of the day, what series are you watching on TV right now? And I asked that for twofold because I'm curious, you know, what kind of things do you like? What kind of things spark your interest? But also it might give me some ideas on something that I would be interested in watching. Right now, my husband and I are watching something called Westworld. <clears throat> and it's sci-fi. Excuse me. So um, it's about um, kind of like a, re a, a world where you're interacting with robots, but the robots, you can't differentiate them from the real people. And so... People come in and on their vacation, they interact with these um, robots, but over time, the robots have become sentient. And actually there's much more, it goes much more in depth than that, but that's just a general overview. Now I am a huge sci-fi girl. Oh my gosh, I love this kind of stuff. Um, you know, if I could watch this Westworld, Star Trek, I even liked some of the the weird ones like Farscape, oh my gosh, those are, to me, I love them. Babylon 9, <laughs> I'm really, really showing you how geeky I am right now, <laughs> but I just love sci-fi sci stories. And so, um, you know, if you're a sci-fi fan, but you're not sure what to watch, um, I would recommend Westworld. It's interesting, it's on HBO. Um, so, I'll be curious to hear what you're watching, what kind of stories spark your interest, and if there's any other sci-fi people out there who have a good series to recommend, I'm all ears. I can't watch my Star Trek right now because it's not on anything that I have. I think it's on something, Stars or something like that, but I don't have that. Before you could get it on anything, it was on Prime, it was on Netflix, it was on everything, Hulu. Now it's not on anything anymore. So I'm so sad. I can't binge on that. I mean, I've only watched the series probably about 50 times. Each one, you know, the original, uh, Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, uh, Voyager, all of those. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the yarny stuff. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to spend three minutes on, on sci-fi. This isn't a sci-fi station. So um, last week, this is Whip Wednesday, work in progress. Uh, last week I showed, I think, a boot and a leg for the color guard girl because I've been working, in case you're new, if you're not new, you already know this because I've talked about it a lot, but I've been working on band dudes. And uh, so the, pat the way the pattern is gonna work up, uh, I'm going to, hopefully have a pat patterns to sell on Etsy, but then I would like to put it all together in a book and make that book available on Amazon. Uh, Amazon do a, another book for self-publish. Um, so there'll be a pattern for the basic dude, which will be this, and then there'll be patterns for different wigs you could put on it. There'll be patterns for all of the instruments so if you're only interested in making one dude with one instrument, either for yourself or for somebody else, you know, you, you would have that option. But if you decided that you were really ambitious and you wanted to crochet up the whole band and all the instruments, all of the patterns would be available there for you for that. And then there'll be color guard, probably rifle and twirler. And then there's one other bonus thing I'm going to put in and I'll talk about the bonus, excuse me, thing in the future when I actually have something worked up to show you. I don't like giving out my concepts because unfortunately I've had some of my concept ideas, um, attempt, people have attempted to steal those ideas. And I don't like having to confront and 
uh, go through what I need to go through to prove that it was mine. So um, anyway, though there will be another bonus thing in that, but I will talk about that when it's closer. I haven't gotten super far with it, but at least she has um, a body now and both and two legs and two boots, two feet. But you know, it's been a busy week. I've had a lot of things going on, uh, just activities and that sort of thing. Nothing bad, all good stuff, but just life, you know, was going on. So I didn't get as far as I would have liked, but I got some of that done. And I'm, you know, writing down what I'm doing as I'm going along. Uh, she'll have a different uniform than the band because usually the, the color guard will have um, a different uniform on. So I'm, I'm, I think I know how I'm going to design that, but I'm still like looking over um, what color guard people wear, you know, looking over ideas and trying to design my own idea from that. So another thing I'm working on is I've been spending time making the tutorial. I already made the tutorial for the band, dude. I'm currently working on, this is the basic dude. The basic dude doesn't have the, the jacket because the jacket gets put on separate. Um, but I'm in the process of making the jacket and making a tutorial of how to make the jacket and then how to make the hat. I know I saw the hat around here somewhere. Here it is, a hat with a plume, sorry. It, it will fit better with the wig, but I'm just trying to get the whole uniform done first for the videos. And then the next tutorial for the band series will be uh, the wigs. And then after the wigs will be the instruments. So, you know, it's a work in progress. All of this stuff is very time consuming to work on that. So. Um, I have been working on that tutorial. That's another whip that I have for this week. And then I just couldn't resist. It's so delicious uh, that uh, John Boy pattern for the um, drawstring beanie. John Boy High, that is a wonderful <laughs> hat. And I feel like I'm addicted to making them now. I just made the one, and if you wanted to see how it turned out, it's in my Moody Monday uh, from two days ago. So I started another one. The reason why I started another one, uh, this is how, how much I have of it so far. This is one that when you once you make it long enough, you fold it around, and then you would wear it. But the reason why I started a second one is because the hat, <clears throat> it's a wonderful pattern, but for me, it only comes to about here. And that's probably where people typically like to wear their hats. But um, I don't, you know, when it gets cold in the winter and I have to go out and shovel snow, or sometimes you're outside and the the, bree the wind is just so bitter. Um, if I have any of my ear exposed, my ears just feel like they freeze and it's super uncomfortable. And also when I don't have my ear totally covered, when we get those gusting winds, the wind will feel like it's going up in under the hat. And so my ears, and, and uh, you know, when you come in, for me, when my ears get really cold like that, and then I come in from the cold and I start warming up, then my ears get really hot. It's like my ears don't know how to regulate their own temperature. I don't know. I am weird. I am really weird. <laughs> Just know that getting into this. <laughs> but uh, I, so I took his pattern, but I just added a little bit of length to it so that when I wear it, it will hopefully come down below my ears. And then I can have warm ears in winter because I'm making this one for myself. This isn't, you know, for any specific thing, but that one is for myself. So anyway, we're nine minutes in. I just wanted to say thank you so much for staying this long and for listening to all of my little nonsense. <laughs> it's I know it's not all nonsense, but um, thank you for coming and spending time with me. And if you're not subscribed and you made it all the way to the end of this video, wow, thank you so much. You may please subscribe, subscribe to me. Um, and I hope everybody has a great evening and I will see you tomorrow.